So tell me about your relationship with KYC. Ooh, okay, so like we've been together for eight years. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much it was kind of like a friend thing at the beginning. Yeah. It got serious. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to get serious. Um, it was, you know, I did some things at the beginning, but like now it's just like. What do you mean you did some things at the beginning? <laughs> I'm trying to I slide mean, that in there real quick. I mean, like, not bad, you know? Like, okay. I just wasn't perfect. I'm going to okay. just say that. I, I wouldn't like to really elaborate on it. He okay. probably will. I mean, I, I'm not trying you to just, hide anything. You got it. Okay. Right. I but, I mean, like, now it's just, it's hectic. I mean, he's, it's like he can't move on from the things that happened in the past. I understand. I'm not comfortable going places. It's like I'm walking on eggshells. Mm. So how often does KYC accuse you of cheating? Two, three times a week. We're getting into it. Wow. And it's getting worse. I mean, it's like every day. Like, we got into it last night at the hotel that what we were at. What happened last night? So, uh, I was getting my phone back last night, um, and I told him, I said, well, I'm gonna wait in here and go look around the hotel, and he left out. So, the security guard showed me around, and it was a guy. So, when we came out, he immediately approached, like, what are you doing? I said, well, this is a security guard. He showed me the pool. He's like, I don't care. I don't care who he is. And so he said that everywhere we go, I'm always in somebody's face. He said, I made up that excuse about getting my phone so I can run back and talk to the security guard. Oh. And how long have you two been together? Almost nine years. Nine years. But, so what happens when um, he visits you at work? Oh, gosh. So I, I like him to come, cause, you know, to bring my kids, because I, I work at night, so I'm not able to see him. Uh -huh. So I do call him there. It's not like he's stalking. But if he sees a guy that, OK, one day it was a guy standing by the, uh, my office door, and he said that it looked like the guy was waiting on me. I never even seen a guy, because I'm in the office. Yeah. I didn't even know what was going on. And what does he say about your social media? Oh, God. Social media, we argue, like, I cannot get on Facebook. I, I mean, I still have my page, but I do not get on it. Because if I do, it's like, oh, only single people get on Facebook. Oh. Um, um, you know, you're looking for something. Uh, it's a gateway to cheat. Now I'm on TikTok. Everything that I try to do, it, he stops it. Instagram. Mm. And, and he thinks so everything's a gateway to cheat? He said, I'm not, he's not on, I don't have him on my TikTok. So he says that I'm, I'm living a single life. I'm trying to be trying to be single. Uh -huh. And I'm like, dude, this is my TikTok. It's not KYC and Britney. You feel uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Make my sense. TikTok. So if I want to TikTok by myself, you're not even that type of person. But he's like, oh, everybody else got their man. Because as I'm tracking this, that it sounds like sometimes he acts more like your dad than your fiance. Would you Yeah, agree I mean, with that? he's a lot older than me. And How so, much older? Uh, 14 years. 14 years older. OK. And Caught so, that. yeah, and so he, and when we get into it, he's like, oh, I know you want somebody younger, because I'm getting too old. Got and that. that's not the thing. That's not it at all. I love him to death, you know? Mm -hmm. That's not the truth. So what do you think needs to ha change in the relationship for it to work? I just want him to change. I want to be, I want him to trust me. I want him to be able to, like, if he comes to my work and somebody's passing through the parking lot, I want you to just stop thinking that it's for me because I'm not going to be with you and cheat. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I, I, I do, I don't want to hurt nobody. It's karma. Well, I believe in karma. <laughs> got it. Okay, you believe in karma. Okay. <laughs> well, it's time to hear from Kwasi. So let's welcome him to the show, everyone. Okay, Watson, thank you for being here. Thank you so much Gotta for being get here. Yeah, of course, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so how do you feel about what was just said? Well, uh, a lot of the stuff was just said, I really don't agree with it because, uh, as we all know, it's nobody going to do nothing if you're not giving an example. I'm not going to feel a certain way unless I have been given that, a reason to feel that way. Mm. All right? Okay. And I, I overheard her say that I... Uh, don't trust or always see when a car pass in the park. Because it had happened. I'm not gonna feel no type of way about nothing uh, if it hadn't happened before. It never happened before. I'm talking you're right lying. now and you're gonna get your turn to talk. Oh god. Okay, I'll give you an example. We had the example. I love you to death, but we here, we on the show. We gotta make it work. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. <laughs> no, listen, we need yeah, some we need some, um, some fixing because Perception, that's a word. Everybody know what perception means. Yes, when you sir. paint a picture, then that's what the it is. Okay. It might be wrong. It might be, but that's not how it look. It don't look like it's right. You know, no. it, you might not be doing nothing, but it's what you're doing. It's how so you're doing it. So every car that passes, Listen, there can for I me. talk, please? This is what we go through on a daily basis. We can't have a conversation so I can let her know my you point right. and how. I you're not right. All right, that's let me why. tell you this. Okay, you, are, you, you work at the hotel. You the front guest late at the hotel. Okay, guy come through, buy your lunch one day. That's fine, take the lunch. He bought everybody he lunch. I... He buys everybody food. The guy bought everybody food that worked there. It's my turn, though, I want to right? hear his point of view, though, on this. My... Okay, all right, uh -huh. all right, go ahead. But see, when you're guilty, you don't let me talk. Okay, guy come buy your lunch, boom. Okay, you take the lunch, cool, that's the one lunch. The guy come buy you another lunch. You take that one, cool, that's two. 
another one. Okay, now you're sitting to the table with him in the dark eating lunch. The manager was Can there I too eating talking? with us. She was there too eating with us. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. See, you now you see? Mm -hmm. I, man, look, I, I, I never in my life have been called controlling or none of my, well, nobody I've been with in the past me. said I'm controlling. They're not me. That's Maybe why. you're giving me that reason to be controlling no. or to try to, not controlling, but more or less to protect your image, to protect your well-being, to protect me as a person, because I am a person with feelings. Nobody want their woman talking to every person they see. Another thing, too, though, Karambo, back to what I was saying about your lunch. So I go to the, the job, and you sit up in there having a good time with lunch with another guy. I keep, keep laughing, having a good time, like, oh. So me as a man. He wasn't even attractive. Like, oh, my I God. Speak. But this is my mm -hmm. fiance sitting here at the dinner table with another man. Yes. I don't care if he's green. Yeah. It's just another man you sitting there with. Well, that's me. You sit down like that, and, you know, but and I'm not supposed to have this thought or this image when you're doing things like that on the job, mm -hmm. you know? Did you communicate with him that you First, were having lunch with him? Uh, KYC? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, but okay. he knew that the guy so, bought food. So, and look, when he listen. bought the food, it was me, the manager, and him. No. But he caught the part when the manager wasn't sitting. Okay. She got Can up I, and went to the back. Let me a lab okay. on that. Okay. okay, okay. And she even said... He was not around. the same race as me either. I don't date outside my race, not to be, it don't you know, matter and so, that. and that's what that big thing was but to me. But you're sitting down like, with this man, now. you're conversating about women he didn't been with. Because Why he told that? me. We were just Can friends. I... <laughs> I just want to talk. I just want to get my. That's why I want to come out first. Yeah. You making can I, can it something that is not. Have head. you ever called Brittany with other guys? Yes. You've called her with other guys. Yeah, I called other guys. Yes. And uh -huh. my thing about the situation is, you do it when you get mad. That's the worst time to do it. You get but mad. I haven't did that and you in run years. Off. But it does. That, that was years ago. And about years is about you done it. Oh well, I'm not doing it now. Then another thing is too though, like. Because you did say that when you got mad. I did. Yeah, I did. But I went to the club. And you think that just happened one time? It's a few times it happened. Oh no. Okay. How many times did you say that happened? That for me is one time. He called me twice, but the first time we were not, we were not together. He said we was, but I hadn't even. He wasn't even there to sign a birth certificate. The guy helped me out throughout my whole pregnancy. We never had sex. He was a friend. Okay, I understand. But so let me ask you this. Have you ever, during the time we was dealing, deal with, like, when we first Not met? Not sexually. When we first met. Mm -mm. You know, I I'm never there, had sex I'm with nobody else I've been with you, so. so. But listen to me, babe. We talk okay. about when we first met. Right? I, I, yeah, I never did. So when I we mean, first met, it was not just me that you was dealing with. I, I was just sexual. Was, when I started having sex with you, you were the only one. I'm not lying about okay. that. So she's saying before when she had her own past, but once she got with you, she stopped. Yeah, I did. He the, did that on his own. Do you think you changed her life for the better? Most definitely. My producer told me that you feel like Britney tells you too much about the guys in her past. Very, too, that's not that, man. Why, well, why are you I... listening? You should just say, I don't want to hear it. Mm. He takes it in like he's interested, but I vent to him. It's not like it's I'm not telling you to make vent. you jealous. Like, why are you venting about the men in your past? It don't be like that. It just be like certain situations that has happened to me. So it's you're not... sharing, you're sharing, well, tell me exactly, because I want to understand. Um, I mean, so he can give an example. Lessons. He can give an example, I guess. I mean, I really example don't know. Example about what? Like, the things you said, I tell you about other men. Like, I don't oh, know. Oh, I've been with him. Oh, I, I, I told you, like, about you two people. why you tell me that? Because, I just, oh, I said, well, why are you telling me that? Because uh, he knew the guy. And I didn't want him to, to talk, get, man. I just didn't want him to find out from nobody else. So you're trying to be transparent. <laughs> oh, man. This is going, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get my point across. Well, like, if I say something to her, like, oh, man. Uh, about a situation that happened in the same similar situation right now, I might make a comment like, you're going to be just like, oh, what you call it, a hotel, other hotel, she's going to get married. But all I'm doing is saying about what happened before. I'm wrong for that. Mm -hmm. I don't want the same thing to happen again. So well, I why would I do it knowing that you're going to get married, right? Talk. Why would I do the same thing? I'm just thing? trying to let y'all hear what I got to say. I mean, say, I'm, I'm I... smart enough. I'm smarter than that. Okay. It's not, because if it was, it wouldn't happen over and over and over no. again. Well, I think before we can get to anything further, I think it's time to unlock the phone. <laughs> All right, so um, first I want to say that the phone, and this is very interesting, the phone had been tampered with one hour before hand being handed over to my investigator. Ooh. I don't know. We can tell when things are tampered with, but nonetheless, here are the results. Kawasi, you want to know if Brittany has been cheating on you with any other guys? Brittany says she is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her apps and found that Brittany 
is not telling the truth. Ooh. Britley downloaded Bumble on August 8th, Ooh. which is a dating app. Well, no, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. Well, it was downloaded <laughs> on August 8th. I don't know. I don't, re I don't remember all of that. We have the screen. We, we can give you the screen grabs of it. Yeah, but I'm not saying y'all lying. Oh, yeah. Mm. So but, you, I but, just got the phone, so nothing, like, I don't it's know. It's nothing. It's nothing. But, but let me say this, Crumble. It goes back to when we first met. Mm -hmm. What it is now. Yeah. So I'm not going to do nothing for no reason. Yeah, okay. I'm, on, I'm not, you know. Well, okay, Watson, you also want to know if Brittany has been cheating on you with any other guys. Brittany says she is not. My unlock the phone investigator searched her texts and found she is not telling the truth. Oh. Brittany downloaded three separate um, texting apps Text oh, okay. Me, Text Free, that. Text Now in that. February, but now all are deleted. And within those deleted texting apps, there were over 20 photos that were deleted as well. And so we're, we're only finding what Right, yeah, but I mean, is. I used text that because my phone was off. I mean, he, he knew about that. I mean, okay. as far as, I mean, I don't even know. So I will say this. How do you explain Bumble? Because I don't even Bumble know what that is. is. A dub, I don't a know. Maybe app. I thought it was something else, but I've never signed on to that. I never, I never honestly... She's I've so never... phone savvy, but no, you don't know what that is. Very I don't. Phone I've never savvy. heard of it, honestly. Okay. I'm gonna go look it up when I leave here, but I mean. It's a dating app. Yeah, I never got on there. I mean, if you get on there, I'm, did I post a picture? But I'm gonna tell you something. I, I know. Mr. Mr. You can't Mr. say I Mr. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's like she says she always mad and upset when we argue, right? So I'm thinking on an argument or on a disagreement, I'm you run all to that bumble. bumble. Well, Bumble I mean, was on August 8th. Right, so did y'all have an argument Bumble. around August 8th? I don't know how to remember it, so like, I can't say. Did y'all have say. an argument around August 8th? I don't know. What I'm saying, though, is that there's a pattern. And I do also see the breakdown in the communication. Right. Because one thing he's been saying is that he can't talk. And I have watched you shut him down each time in defense of your point. Mm -hmm. And in relationship, that's unfair. Because he's trying to express to me, just a third party, what he's been going through. And I haven't fully been able to get your story. You're not. Because of the fact that... <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're not, because it's what I'm going to say is going to be real. I'm not going to sit up here and paint no picture of no lie. And the way I feel is what I experience. And when I got her, I tried to show her this is how a man's supposed to treat a woman. Because if mm -hmm. it wasn't like that, but she would have never left out of me with that. Because I don't get the reaction. I react on what I get from you. But then when he's arguing with me, are we fuss? I we can't, can't do that. We can't argue because I can't speak. I, it's hard and for it's me not, to love listen, you if you're fussing with me every day. It's never an argument, y'all. So. I promise you, it's never... Come on, I'm, I, Hold I, on, I'm going to stop you right here because she just said something that's clear. She just said that it's hard for me to love you when you argue with me all the time. Which is why you, she's in defense mode consistently in her conversations. Hold on. What's, what just made you emotional? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What just made you emotional? What's going on? She know I love her 100%. No, what's, what's happening? I just feel like I failed. Listen to me, V. If you failed, I'd have been gone. If you failed, we won't be sitting here at Karambo. You know what I'm saying? So apparently you didn't fail. He just said, when you said, I failed, his response wasn't, well, I'm done, you're right. He leaned into you and said, you didn't fail. I'm still here. Let's work out these small things. <laughs> so you have to not, you have to be able to hear when he says something to you. He said that to you. Can you look at him and say, I heard you? I heard you. This, this is, relationship isn't over. There's, there is love here, and you know it. And you know it as well. Right. And there's just work that needs to be done. I think if y'all take that first step of writing down what you need in this relationship, is going to, and then giving that to each other, it's a first big step. And then I think secondly, if y'all stop speaking from defense and communication and be more empathetic listeners, just meaning like, I'm not gonna try to defend what I, you say. I'm not gonna try to question what you say. I'm just gonna listen. I think it's gonna be better. Y'all give each other a kiss, give each other a hug. Y'all gonna be all right. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.